Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm showing now, how to install and use best free Photoshop alternative PhotoPose Pro 3. First you need to download PhotoPose setup file. Open PhotoPose website photopos.com, then download setup file. After that double click on photo post setup file. If you receive user account control message, click on yes. Photo post offer 21 days free premium account after that, if you like you can purchase it. If you don't want premium account, untick get 21 days free premium. This 100% free version, this support maximum file save size 1024 into 1024 pixel only. Then next. Accept terms and conditions, then next. Leave default path click on next. Start menu shortcut name leave it, next, then install. Installation completed now, finish. Now launch the photo pose. First window you need to select interface. Two interface is available professional interface and novice interface, you can interchange even after it is open select start with novice interface, then next. Select color themes, three themes available here. Classic bright, high contrast and silver color, select one, then next. Now loading photo pose pro. Open photo here. This the zoom button, click on this. Left click zoom in and right click zoom out. Next one rotation first one left and second one right. This is flip horizontal mirroring. Other one flip vertical. Then resize image, you can adjust image size here, if you not using premium, you need to change maximum image size 1024 pixel. This one crop button. Drag area and enter in keyboard. Next one leveler. You can straight image using this tool. If you make a line into image, it will create a crop area similar to that, then press enter in keyboard. This is clone brush same as Photoshop stamp tool. Right click to select area, left click to stamp. Next red eye reduction tool, click on this tool, then click on red eye, this image doesn't have a red eye, it just shows you how to do it. Next rectangular selection, and circle selection tools. Next magic wand tool. You can select more area, hold shift button and click on mouse.
Magnetic Selection Tools, select Area then enter. Other one invert selection, and deselect. This left panel available many adjustments, effects, and filters. You can check it one by one click on accept it will be affected. You can change your theme using this drop down button, if you change theme it will be affected next restart. This is a save button, and next one save as button. This small button you can switch professional interface. This interface almost Photoshop. Almost all Photoshop functions available this interface. This is the new file, enter size, and DPI, then OK.
If you need to close this file, right click on image header, select close. Open, save, save as, undo, copy and full screen, available on this shortcut toolbar. Next three buttons grid, roller and axis respectively. This is selection of how to open a file that opens in drag. Brightness, contrast, saturation, black and white, warm, negative effects and more shortcuts available here. If you click on any tools in toolbar, that tool functions available here. Just I click on transform tool, opacity density and feather shortcut display on the second line of the shortcut toolbar. Right click on this image, select select all, and again right click, then select copy. Right click on image, then paste it. Click and hold any corner drag to resize the selected layer image. Now try to change opacity, density and feather. This is the blend mode, same as blending mode of Photoshop. Many shape selection tools also available on this product. Tools almost same as Photoshop tools. Go to menu bar click on filters. Many filters available here, including red eye reduction. Effects also here. Now showing to apply one paint effect on this photo. Then click OK it will be applied.
This is typing tool. Right click, then click on select none for deselect. Select typing tool type any text. You can select text size. You can pick color, gradient, and patterns under here. It takes a long time to fully shows up, and you should try every tool. I think this is a good choice if you want the Photoshop alternative. Thanks for watching my videos. If you like this video make sure to subscribe for more.